Hey guys, I'm here to do my July's favorites. I don't have a lot of newer things that I've been using. Um, I don't think any of these products are like new new, but uh, maybe one or two of them are, but I just don't have any newer things for myself that I have been loving, but I do have a few things and I thought I would share them with you. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna reach behind me because I've got them all kind of propped back here on this table behind me. One of the first things that I'm gonna show you is this perfume. It's a Tom Ford perfume. Mandarino de Amalfi and I have to tell you I'm more in love with the bottle than I think I am the perfume but I really do like the perfume but I just love looking at this bottle I none of my other perfumes look anything like this and I love the color I love the shape of the bottle and I would recommend it um, I would say it, it is an expensive perfume so if you can go smell it first just to make sure you like it and I would have them spray it on one of those cards and walk around smell that card come back maybe smell it a day later that's my recommendation that's what I did because when I first smelled it I wasn't a huge fan of the scent I honestly thought it smelled like ivory soap and the more I smelled the card that it was sprayed on I just fell in love with it and I really do like the perfume but the bottle edges it out just a little bit you know it's just just such a gorgeous bottle then I've had this I know one of favorites before it's a NYX butter gloss this particular one is tiramisu and I have talked about these several times before they are really inexpensive and the reason why I'm going to talk about it again a maybe two three weeks ago I had some skin problems I don't know what caused the breakout but I also had an allergic reaction on my lips to something I hope and pray well I hope that it was not um, those new baby lips lip glosses that was the only thing that I was using on my lips that was different and I broke out. I had an allergic reaction. It's happened before with the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Broke out. So I'm hoping it's not the baby lips. I haven't used them since because I was trying to recover. And every time that happens to me, thankfully it's not often, I use this. And it makes my lips feel so much better. And it's just a really inexpensive lip gloss. Um, so tiramisu just happens to be one of my favorite of them. And they all smell alike so I would recommend this if you have any allergic reactions to something this works well for me anyway so love the NYX butter lip glosses then another lip gloss that I have picked up recently and I'm hesitant to even mention this because it's pretty much sold out everywhere but it is the MAC and I have been pr practicing the pronunciation Gian Battista Valley. I hope I got that right when I introduced this in my chats last week. I slaughtered the poor guy's name on there. So I think it's Gian Battista Valley. Some people are saying Valley. Um, maybe, maybe not. I looked him up. He is a fashion designer from Italy. So that is an Italian name, which I fairly was confident that it was Italian. And it's just in a little pot. So there it is. I haven't used too much of it, but the first time I used it, I fell in love with it. And I'm going to be talking more about my trouble getting a hold of a backup of this in my weekly chat video that will go up tomorrow after this video. So stay tuned if you want to hear more of what was going on with that drama. Then um, my next favorite items, I'm grabbing a couple of them. This is an Estee Lauder uh, sample that I've got. I actually got two of these. One was I got from Nordstrom and the other one came in a free gift uh, or gift with purchase. And it is the Estee Lauder Daywear Advanced Multi-Protection Antioxidant Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF of 15. And I think it smelled so good. Let me, this one has not been used before. My other one I've completely used up, but it's a pretty good size sample, so I don't know if that's coming up um, in the viewfinder very well. It may look white, but it's actually a very pale green, and I love the scent of it. I do think it has a very faint scent of cucumber, which I am normally opposed to, but this one smells really, really good, and 
it's for normal to combination skin. I use the entire other container of this. Absolutely love it. Haven't seen any breakouts from it. So I, I know sometimes breakouts can take a while, but been loving this product right here. And this is something I would definitely consider purchasing the full size of it. I definitely would. Another skincare item. I know I've mentioned at least one uh, one other video is a skincare video, and that is the Sunday Riley Luna. And let me show you. It's a gorgeous blue. So this is a night oil that you use. It's called a sleeping night oil. So there it is. Um, right there, it's just like a little dropper. And I'm trying not to waste any of that product. So when I first saw this, it was on Carolyn Hiren's channel, and she is like a skin care guru. If you're interested in learning about skincare, check out her blog, check out her YouTube channel. She is the one I watch when I want to find out about good skincare. So she mentioned this product and she said she saw an immediate change in her skin. She used it at night. The next morning she got up and noticed an immediate change. I had to pick it up after I heard her say that. So I went and ordered it from Sephora and I will tell you I did not see an immediate change at all in my skin. I was like, really? And a lot of people, other people were doing a huge hype about it and saying, oh my word, it's just the most amazing product ever, blah, 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 blah. So I had it for quite a while and I would use it here and there, not every single night. And then one night, maybe, I want to say two months ago, I put it on. And I promise you, the next morning when I got up, I looked in the mirror before I even washed my face, and I was like, oh my goodness, my skin looks so amazing. Then every single time after that day that I use this, the same thing happens. I get up the next morning, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is such an amazing product. So it did not happen immediately for me, but it did happen. So there is a lot of hype around this product, and I say it's worth it. Again, but I want to warn you, it may not happen immediately, and it possibly may not happen at all. People's skin types are so different, and things just don't always work for everybody. But I will tell you, this is amazingly, I mean, it works amazingly for me and it, what seems like a lot of other people. It is very pricey. So if you have really good skin, maybe you don't want to go purchase it if you are a little bit older and... I, I do think, based on the little, I was reading this really quickly, I do think it's for more mature skin. If you're young, probably wouldn't bother. It is too pricey for that. But it does say, next generation retinoid oil reduces pore size, improves appearance of damaged skin, and helps fight wrinkles. It is amazing. So I love Sunday Riley, and I will soon be picking up a couple more Sunday Riley products. One will, one will be a repurchase. So stay tuned for a future haul. Okay, we're coming down to the end. This is a shower gel body wash from Philosophy. As you can see, I have been using it quite a bit. I think I first started using it at the beginning of July or the very end of June. It is the Senorita Margarita. Um, any of my Spanish speakers that watch my channel, did I get close on Senorita Margarita? I hope I did with my Nashville accent, my Tennessee accent. So I love Philosophy's shower gel. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I picked this up on Thanksgiving night 2014. It has been sitting in my stockpile and I said I'm getting that out and um, I'm not allowing myself to purchase any more shower gels until I get way down on that stockpile. I do get several free ones from Bath & Body Works and I will continue to get the free ones because they're free, but um, not planning on purchasing any new shower gels till I really just get that stockpile down. Then next to last item, I think, let me check. Yes, next to last item is this L'Oreal. It is the Power Moisture Moisture Rush Mask. Moisture sounds so funny when I say it. I don't know. It sounds funny to me. I fell in love with this. I've had this one for a while. I will have another video going up talking more about it. If you want to check that out, it's coming up sometime later. Fell in love with this hair mask. Absolutely love it. Noticed an immediate change in my hair overnight. Okay, I got one last item, and it's a fashion item. 
And it is, or these are my Michael Kors Gladiator sandals. I picked them up in Dillard's. The last, they had an extra 30% off. Sometimes they do it um, every other month. Sometimes it's once, once a month, but it's usually the last week of the month starting on a Wednesday. I picked these up and they were already on sale. I got an extra 30% off. And if you saw the haul, you know I debated in keeping these or selling them on eBay. I kept them. I'm so glad I did. As you can see, I've been wearing them. And I love these so much. And on that note, I did get an email from Dillard's that the extra 30% off is going on right now as I'm filming this. This video is, this is Wednesday. The video is going up on Friday, as you will see. So the sale will still be going on today as this video goes up. So, whoops, sorry about that. I just dropped one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this July's monthly favorites. And um, again, thank you to all my new subscribers. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.